Hey everyone, uh, this is my probably extraordinarily quick uh, book review of Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. Um, this is, unsurprisingly, a sci-fi book. Uh, and it was sold to me by a booktuber who touted this as phenomenal world building. Um, world building, yes. But phenomenal, no, I'm afraid. Um, it's kind of um, undersold, really, the world in general. Uh, it talks about a lot of things that like, you might not get any more kind of clearer information on until much later in the book. Um, and it seems to do this kind of little... Uh, thread where it gives you a little bit and it doesn't tell you what it is so you just, oh, that's just the thing and then you get a little bit more and it seems kind of mysterious and very sci-fi like and then maybe a couple of pages maybe a couple of chapters or something later it kind of fills you in on the rest of the thing and instead of like uh, giving you more kind of sci-fi details it like the, the next bit of information always seems to ground it and make it very like completely non-sci-fi like um it just what you thought was sci-fi and very um <laughs> non-ordinary for today's times um becomes ordinary a few pages later and like it's just it's kind of bizarre um there's a, a lot that there's a lot that i liked in nine fox gambit um it did take me an awful long time to read i will confess and this is not because of the quality of the writing per se it's just because i've got other stuff going on um but unfortunately um as i say it was um sold to me as something more than it was and when it wasn't what i thought it would be um i was just a little bit disappointed um it's got a fascinating uh kind of main character who is uh, essentially two people uh, and there's the the main character um Cheris uh, who ends up having uh, a superior a, a general general Jedo um put into her as her shadow uh, and it's not terribly clear any of that kind of works it's just kind of like there it is and accept it and i did accept it eventually um but in terms of sci-fi and that lack of world building that keeps happening like they just keep doing stuff and then going oh didn't you know oh, we can do this oh didn't you know and and this and like that um that just doesn't seem terribly clever to me because that's just not giving everyone all the facts and then kind of revealing fact as something special when like everyone or most people say would already know that in that kind of context but um like i say i think it's a minor quibble i don't think this is the best sci-fi book ever written it's also not the worst sci-fi book ever written in fact it's far from the worst so it's much more favorable than it is unfavorable so i think you should read die fox gambit if you want a very different writing style to um, other sci-fi books I've read um, in that sometimes you get information, sometimes you don't. <laughs> and there's really like no telling what you're getting and what you're not getting um, as it goes. Um, like I say, uh, Cheris and Jedi are the, um, the leads in this story, in the one body. And... Um, Cheris was just kind of a run-of-the-mill character for me. Like, I couldn't get anything from her, really. It wasn't really, really very clear what was going on with her, apart from she was being subject to Jeddo. Um, Jeddo, however, his character was so much more powerful and purposeful and clear um, that um, I very quickly picked up a very distinct voice for Jedi in my head uh, and that attached to him 100% um, 
and I can't explain where that voice came from and I have to credit the book for giving me that voice because um, where else could it have come from? So uh, I think on the strength of the fact that this book made me have a funny voice in my head, you should read it. Is that an endorsement? I don't know. <laughs> That's it. That's all I've got for Nine Fox Gambit. Uh, you know where I'll, well, I'll be. I'll be in the comments, folks. Um, if you've read it, let's talk about it. If you haven't read it but you're going to, based off this review, I'm amazed and we should definitely talk. That's all I've got, folks. Farewell.